Hi friends, welcome back to our virtual story time and happy Earth Day. Today's story is called It's a Butterfly's Life by Irene Kelly. And I don't know about you guys, but I've seen a lot of butterflies on my walks lately. So let's learn more about them. Butterflies and moths are insects in the Lepidoptera order. There are about 17,500 diff different types of butterflies and 160,000 types of moths in the world. Butterflies and moths are a lot alike, but they are not exactly the same. Butterflies are out and about during the day. They have thin bodies without much hair and skinny antenna with knobs at the ends. Most moths come out during the night. They have plump, furry bodies and slim or feathery antenna without knobs at the ends. Hmm. Butterflies fly by rippling their wings up and down and slowly, slowly and gliding on air currents just like birds. They can fly long distances this way. If a butterfly is too cold, its muscles won't work and it can't fly. To warm up, butterflies bask in the sun, their wings soaking up the sun's rays like solar panels. A butterfly has four beautiful wings. Each wing has shimmering scales that overlap like shingles on a roof. You should never touch a butterfly's wings because the tiny scales will shatter, scatter like powder. That could injure the butterfly. Some butterflies migrate huge distances. The monarch wins the prize for the longest migration of all. Every fall, millions of monarchs fly all the way from the Midwestern United States to central Mexico. For some, that's a 3,000 mile trip. Migrating monarchs may fly up to 80 miles in just one day. They stop briefly to rest or feed on nectar. Most butterflies only live for a short time, so they must mate and lay eggs quickly. They might stay together this way for only an hour or up to an entire day. If they're disturbed, they can fly away still attached with one of them flying backward. When the mating is over, the male flies away. The female gets right to work. She flutters around, tasting plants with her feet. For many species, only one type of plant will do. Eventually, she finds the perfect one for her caterpillars to feed, to feed on as soon as they hatch. From a few days to several weeks after the egg is laid, it is ready to hatch. The caterpillar chomps through the eggshell with its sharp jaws. The caterpillar crawls out of the egg and makes the eggshell its first meal. A caterpillar is a leaf-eating machine. Just two weeks after hatching, monarch caterpillars are 2,700 times their original weight. If a newborn baby gained weight that fast, it would weigh eight tons in 14 days. That's as big as two full-grown rhinos. Wow. Caterpillar droppings are called frass. The frass of a small caterpillar is the size of the period at the end of a sen this sentence, but the frass of a full-grown caterpillar can be as big as an apple seed. When many caterpillars are together in a tree, their falling frass sounds like rain as it hits the ground. As a caterpillar gets bigger, it outgrows its skin and sheds it. This is called molting. Now the caterpillar has a new skin to grow into. A caterpillar will molt four or five times before it's full grown. Caterpillars move slowly, making them easy targets for predators. They need good camouflage or a 
scary appearance to survive. Some caterpillars of the metal mark and hair streak butterflies can call for help when they are being attacked. They make vibrating sounds. This noise is their way of yelling help! And guess what comes to their rescue? Ants. The ants chase away the hungry predators and the caterpillars reward them by giving off a sweet juice called honeydew. How can a slowpoke caterpillar turn into a fluttering butterfly? This change is called metamorphosis. When a caterpillar is ready, it makes silky threads that it uses to attach itself to a branch or leaf. Then the caterpillar's skin splits, revealing the pupa or chrysalis. Like a shield, the outside of the chrysalis protects the caterpillar inside as it changes into a butterfly. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar's body breaks down. A butterfly's head, body, and wings take shape. Each type of caterpillar has its own special chrysalis. Some are camouflaged to look like bird droppings, leaves, or twigs. A few look like sparkling jewels. Just before the butterfly is ready to come out, the chrysalis becomes see-through. Then the chrysalis cracks and the insect swallows air to plump up. The new butterfly pushes out with its legs. Its wings are squished together. Before it can fly, it must unwrinkle them. The insect hangs upside down and unfurls its wings and its veins fill with fluid. More than an hour later, the wings have hardened. The butterfly flutters its wings a few times and flies away in search of a mate. Bats and birds love to eat butterflies and moths, but people are a bigger threat. When forests are destroyed for logging or to, to make way for buildings, butterfly and moth habitats are also destroyed. Water pollution and air pollution are also dangerous to butterflies. Many species have disappeared forever while others are seriously endangered. The Queen Alexandra's bird wing is endangered because its rainforest home is being destroyed it is the biggest butterfly in the world with a wingspan of one foot. That's as big as a cardinal's wingspan. This giant butterfly lives in Papua New Guinea. Want to see butterflies up close? If you plant their fla favorite flowers, they will stop by for a sip. Here are a few plants that lots of butterflies and caterpillars like. Butterfly bush, purple cone flowers, lilacs, snapdragons, daisies, impatience, bee balm, sunflowers. You can plant a garden in your yard or in a pot. Find a sunny place so your visitors can enjoy a sun bath and don't forget a muddy spot for puddling. Amazing but true. Most chrysalises are si still and silent, making them fast food for many predators, but some can hiss. Others squeak and shake to frighten their enemies. Caterpillars have several thousand muscles, while you and I have about 500. Caterpillars have 12 very simple eyes, but they can't see well without any of them. Wow. I don't know about you, but I learned a lot about caterpillars, butterflies, and moths. Go outside today and take a look for some and maybe plant some of these flowers and plants that we talked about and they will come to your yard. Have a great day, everyone.